welcome to our channel, Me and Animals. Animals are really lovely. Be kind to them. Let's go. Cheetahs, scientifically known as a Sinonyx jubatus, are a species of big cats that are primarily found in Africa. There are only one recognized species of cheetah, but there are a few subspecies that have been identified based on their geographic location and physical characteristics. The four subspecies of a cheetah that are generally recognized are Northwest African cheetah, this subspecies is found in the Sahel regions of Africa, including Algeria, Niger, Mali, and Chad. They have a relatively light coat with small spots. East African cheetah, this subspecies is found in the grasslands and savannas of East Africa, including Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda. They have a slightly larger and darker coat with rounder spots. Southern African cheetah, this subspecies is found in the grasslands and savannas of Southern Africa, including South Africa, Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, and Mozambique. They have a relatively large coat with small, dense spots. Iranian cheetah, this subspecies is found in Iran. It is critically endangered, with only a few dozen individuals remaining in the wild. Apart from these subspecies, there are no other recognized breeds of cheetahs. However, cheetahs are known for their exceptional speed, agility, and hunting skills. They are the fastest land animal on the planet and can reach speeds of up to 70 miles per hour. Their slender body, long legs, and flexible spine are perfectly adapted for high-speed chases. In conclusion, there is only one recognized species of a cheetah with four recognized subspecies, each with slightly different physical characteristics and geographic ranges. However, cheetahs are universally recognized for their impressive physical attributes and hunting skills. Cheetahs are typically light tan or golden in color, with black spots covering their body. The spots are round and solid and are evenly distributed across the cheetah's body. The background color of the coat can vary slightly depending on the subspecies and the individual, ranging from pale yellow to reddish brown. In addition to their spots, cheetahs also have distinctive markings on their face. They have black tear marks that run from the inside corner of their eyes down to the corners of their mouth. These marks are thought to help protect their eyes from the sun and reduce glare, as well as to communicate with other cheetahs. One interesting thing about cheetahs is that their coat color and pattern are not determined by genetics in the same way as other big cats like lions and tigers. Instead, their coloration is influenced by a complex interaction of genes, hormones, and environmental factors like temperature and humidity. This means that even siblings can have slightly different coat colors and patterns. Overall, cheetahs are known for their beautiful and distinctive coat patterns, which help them blend in with their surroundings and make them one of the most recognizable big cats in the world. We're going to take a closer look at all the body parts that make cheetahs such incredible hunters. Cut to a close-up of a cheetah's face. Voiceover, let's start with the cheetah's face. The cheetah has a unique facial structure that is designed for speed and agility. Its nostrils are wide and its nasal passages are large, allowing it to take in a large volume of air while running. Its eyes are set deep in its skull giving it excellent binocular vision and depth perception. Its ears are small and rounded, which helps reduce wind resistance while running. Cut to a shot of the cheetah's teeth. Voiceover, the cheetah's teeth are razor sharp and designed for tearing flesh. Its canine teeth are longer than those of any other big cat and are used to deliver a lethal bite to its prey. Cut to a shot of the cheetah's claws. Voiceover, the cheetah's claws are retractable, which allows them to stay sharp and protected when not in use. When the cheetah needs to use its claws, they extend and provide an excellent grip on the ground while running. 
The cheetah's claws are also semi-retractable, which means they don't get in the way when running at high speeds. Cut to a shot of the cheetah's body. Voiceover, the cheetah's body is built for speed. Its long, lean body is aerodynamic and streamlined, allowing it to move through the air with minimal resistance. Its flexible spine allows it to twist and turn with ease, while its powerful hind legs provide the propulsion needed to reach speeds of up to 70 miles per hour. Cut to a shot of the cheetah's tail. Voiceover, the cheetah's tail is a crucial part of its anatomy. It acts as a rudder while the cheetah is running, helping it to maintain balance and make quick turns. The tail also serves as a counterbalance, helping to keep the cheetah stable while running at high speeds. Closing shot of the cheetah running across the savanna. Voiceover, and there you have it, a closer look at all the amazing body parts that make the cheetah such a remarkable hunter. Join us next time as we continue to explore the incredible world of cheetahs. We're going to take a closer look at all the body parts that make cheetahs such incredible hunters. Cut to a close-up of a cheetah's face. Voiceover, let's start with the cheetah's face. The cheetah has a unique facial structure that is designed for speed and agility. Its nostrils are wide and its nasal passages are large, allowing it to take in a large volume of air while running. Its eyes are set deep in its skull, giving it excellent binocular vision and depth perception. Its ears are small and rounded, which helps reduce wind resistance while running. Cut to a shot of the cheetah's teeth. Voiceover, the cheetah's teeth are razor sharp and designed for tearing flesh. Its canine teeth are longer than those of any other big cat and are used to deliver a lethal bite to its prey. Cut to a shot of the cheetah's claws. Voiceover, the cheetah's claws are retractable, which allows them to stay sharp and protected when not in use. When the cheetah needs to use its claws, they extend and provide an excellent grip on the ground while running. The cheetah's claws are also semi-retractable, which means they don't get in the way when running at high speeds. Cut to a shot of the cheetah's body. Voiceover, the cheetah's body is built for speed. Its long, lean body is aerodynamic and streamlined, allowing it to move through the air with minimal resistance. Its flexible spine allows it to twist and turn with ease, while its powerful hind legs provide the propulsion needed to reach speeds of up to 70 miles per hour. Cut to a shot of the cheetah's tail. Voiceover, the cheetah's tail is a crucial part of its anatomy. It acts as a rudder while the cheetah is running, helping it to maintain balance and make quick turns. The tail also serves as a counterbalance, helping to keep the cheetah stable while running at high speeds. Closing shot of the cheetah running across the savanna. Voiceover, and there you have it, a closer look at all the amazing body parts that make the cheetah such a remarkable hunter. Join us next time as we continue to explore the incredible world of cheetahs. Cheetahs are one of the most social animals in the world. They live in groups called prides. Pride is usually made up of around 5 to 15 cheetahs, but can be as large as 30. Cheetahs communicate with each other through a variety of vocalizations and scent markings. They are also very tactile, often grooming each other and resting their heads on each other's shoulders. The Iranian cheetah, also known as the Asiatic cheetah, is a subspecies of cheetah found only in Iran. It is one of the rarest big cats in the world, with an estimated population of only 50 to 100 individuals remaining in the wild. The Iranian cheetah is smaller and more lightly built than its African counterpart, with a flatter and narrower head. Its coat is pale tan or cream-colored, with black spots arranged in lines along its body.
The cheetah's distinctive black tear marks run from the inner corners of its eyes down to the corners of its mouth. The main threats to the Iranian cheetah are habitat loss, poaching, and road accidents. The cheetah's natural habitat in Iran has been severely degraded due to human activities such as agriculture, mining, and oil and gas exploration. Poaching is also a problem, as cheetahs are hunted for their fur and body parts, which are used in traditional medicine. Finally, the cheetah's speed and tendency to roam over large areas make it vulnerable to being hit by cars on the few remaining roads that cross its habitat. Conservation efforts are underway to try to save the Iranian cheetah. These include habitat restoration projects, anti-poaching patrols, and public awareness campaigns. The Iranian government has also established protected areas for the cheetah, although these are often poorly enforced. Despite these efforts, the survival of the Iranian cheetah remains uncertain. We're going to talk about buying and selling cheetahs and the rules that govern this trade. Before we get into the rules, we want to make it clear that buying and selling cheetahs is not a practice that we endorse. Cheetahs are wild animals and should be allowed to live in their natural habitat. However, we recognize that there is a demand for these animals, and there are rules in place to govern their trade. In the United States, it is illegal to buy or sell cheetahs without a permit. This is because cheetahs are listed as an endangered species, and their trade is tightly regulated by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. That's right. If you want to buy or sell a cheetah in the United States, you will need to apply for a permit from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. This permit is required regardless of whether you're buying or selling a cheetah. It's important to note that cheetahs are also protected under international law. The Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species sites, regulates the trade of cheetahs across borders. If you're looking to buy or sell a cheetah internationally, you will need to obtain a site's permit. This permit is issued by the country where the cheetah is located and must be approved by the country where the cheetah is being imported or exported. It's also worth noting that many countries have their own laws and regulations regarding the buying and selling of cheetahs. It's important to familiarize yourself with these laws before entering into any transaction involving a cheetah. In conclusion, buying and selling cheetahs is a complex and heavily regulated practice. It is not something that should be taken lightly or entered into without a full understanding of the laws and regulations involved. We also want to emphasize that buying and selling cheetahs is not a sustainable or ethical practice. We encourage everyone to support conservation efforts aimed at protecting cheetahs in their natural habitat. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to our channel. Me and Animals. See you in the next video.